Hi everybody, uh, about starting project and just gonna start off by saying, don't try this at home. Uh, in fact, don't try this anywhere. This is just dumb, but whatever, we're gonna give it a shot. This is my Coleman CT200 mini bike. Uh, just basic 60s design mini bike that Coleman is still cranking out today. You can get these at Walmart, Tractor Supply, Amazon, etc. This was an Amazon Prime Day deal that actually came damaged, so I got a screaming deal on it. Um, and then added a Harbor Freight Predator 212 and a $50 eBay. CVT on, but this thing currently tops out at somewhere north of 30 miles an hour. I think 34 is the highest we've clocked it with the GPS. Um, ton of fun, kind of loud, very bumpy, interesting at speed. This is a NetGain Warp 9 DC motor. A little while back, I decided I wanted to do an EV project and start rounding up parts and a basic, simple DC powered, uh, small light car, pretty easy path to go down. So I bought this used nine inch motor and a couple other accessories that came with it as a lower voltage controller. This was in a, a buggy setup. And so I have a, another video talking about the, the motor and the controller, but this thing, it depends on what voltage you put through it, is rated anywhere between the 72 volt ratings around 30 kilowatts, I think. And then people put 144 plus volts through this thing. So it's how you get actually decent power out of it. Um, I couldn't find specs for it at 48 volts, which is what I plan to run it at for this go round. But uh, I saw online anywhere between 20 kilowatts and 22 horsepower. So yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go. This thing weighs about 150 pounds. It's 16 inches long. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. So plan is to rip out the Predator and CVT and see how much room we have to work with and slide that thing in. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get in here. Like I said, it weighs like 150 pounds. So definitely got to relocate the foot pegs and probably have to do a jack shaft to actually get the chains to line up. Just use what I have laying around to, to piece this thing together and we'll see how sketchy it is. I'm guessing it's gonna be incredibly sketchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing down and see how everything fits up. All right, that was the easy part. You can see the spacers I had to add when I did the CVT to elevate the engine up about an inch to clear everything. I'll be eating those because we're gonna need a whole nother mount for this one. Looks like plenty of room. We'll see. I managed to get the motor in the frame, which was no small feat. This thing seriously weighs between 100 and 150 pounds. Uh, but actually, it really doesn't look that bad once it's in there, aside from being really huge and completely out of place. But it actually, yeah, it fits a lot better than I thought it would. It does stick out quite a bit on each side. But it doesn't take up as much real estate as I expected. So it leaves plenty of room for 
the motor controller. This is a bad one, but it's the same size and model of the one that I have. So that could actually mount up under the seat. And then <clears throat> that's actually it with a pot box throttle. Um, you could replace the whole throttle with a electronic unit or what I'll most likely do is just attach the cable to the end of this. It basically just has a potentiometer inside and spring loaded. So that's what commands the controller for speed. I have another video posted that goes into the details of this controller and motor setup. And so that'll leave us plenty of room for a jack shaft setup down here because this was going to be necessary to transmit the motor torque back and then uh, back to the rear axle. And I guess batteries will have to live up here on a cargo rack because that will eat up the majority of the space. We'd have to get really creative with packaging otherwise. So the motor will be mounted with just a, a simple mount Probably just, since this is going to be kind of a experiment, probably just some angle iron and the band around the top with a bolt through it, through this, uh, the hole here where the, where this eye bolt currently is. The other thing I'm not sure quite how I'd figure out is foot pegs because um, the motor is kind of where foot pegs used to be. And the shaft is where my ankles want to be. So I'm gonna have to rig up something up here. Maybe. Can't go behind it because that's where the chain drive needs to go. So that's where I'm probably gonna leave this for now. I got a bunch of other things I need to work on. So leave a note in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna say this is stupid and I wholeheartedly agree with you. And be sure to like and subscribe so you can see where this whole thing ends up going. Thanks for watching.